Snowboarding Federation. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Jordan Guzik. Uh, I'm the vice president of the Mont Tremblant trip this year. And I'm Merrick Glass, and I'm the president of the club this year. Goodness gracious me. Well, me and Jordan go way back to uh, first year MIT and uh, Krabby Joe wing days, but. Darts. 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 <laughs> yeah, bro. Never smoked one. But uh, you know what? It's great to have you on the show, man. Because uh, it's been a long time coming. But back on topic. What exactly is WSF? Tell the people of Western. One, one of you. Doesn't matter. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, WSF is the Western Ski and Snowboard Federation. So, we were affiliated with the club for kind of, or sorry, with the USC for kind of 16, 17 years, but this year we're going it on our own just to kind of get a bit more freedom and uh, stuff like that. Nice. Uh, so we run a bunch of trips. We're going to Trombla in January. We're doing Switzerland over Reading Week, and we also kind of have a bunch of social stuff during the year. But it's pretty much just a place where people who are into skiing and snowboarding can come out and make a bunch of friends. Do you guys shred? Yes. You guys shred. Shred the yes. gnar, man. Shred the gnar. We shred I love shredding the gnar, gnar actually. Um, that's sick, but you uh, let us, uh, you kind of linked it a little bit in what you just said. You used to be affiliated with the USC. We've heard some rumors about last year's Tromblon trip uh, being the reason why you're not affiliated anymore. Can you tell us a little bit about that scenario and why <laughs> that is? All right, I guess I'll field this one. So last year on the Mont Tromblon trip, uh, we had a contest to give away a free snowboard and it was an open contest, and we had stated that if you do something that will impress the execs, uh, you'll win the snowboard. And this went from spending the night in the hospital because you broke your arm, or like helping someone because their luggage got stolen, or helping somebody learn how to snowboard, like pretty... Pretty, pretty, pretty tame stuff. Yeah, pretty tame stuff. Pretty tame stuff, yeah. Uh, on the second night, we still hadn't had anyone come forward that had any cool things that went down. Yeah. So, uh, we had a friend in the club uh -huh. who came into the exec room saying that he wanted, he, he was like, what can I do? Like, what can I eat? What can I drink to he win this snowboard? He wanted to consume something for he the snowboard. He wanted to do something crazy for okay. the snowboard. And at the time, uh, there was a trophy, like a WSF trophy uh, that people had been pouring uh, alcohol into, oh, and also yeah. they were also putting body hair into. Oh. Uh, okay. Cool. So then this young gentleman was like, "What if I just chug this? Like, what? Oh. What if I do it?" And we're like, "Don't do that. That's disgusting." And he's like, "He was thirsty. He was thirsty. He's very thirsty man. Parched. <laughs> he was parched. very parched. He was parched. I heard, I talked to him after that. He said he was parched. Yeah. So he goes, "What if I drink it?" And we're like, "I guess. I guess if you drink it, you'd probably win the snowboard." <laughs> and he just got pumped up, started getting amped, ripped off his shirt. Wow. And he's just like, everyone in the room is just like, this is going to be nuts if this guy does this. And he... And he does it. Nast. And it was probably one of the grossest things I've ever seen. <laughs> it was but the guy's the baller, sure. though. The guy, the guy did it on his own. It was his own decision. He was hyped on it. So <laughs> we're like, all right, you win the snowboard competition over. And hey. everyone, everyone heard about it, and they were like... This guy actually like did that. Yeah. So there was a video that was put on Facebook. Uh huh. And uh, after that, people it got a lot of it got a lot of activity because that's as you can believe that's nuts. It's pretty cool yeah. stuff. Pretty and cool like stuff, some people yeah. even thought that we should send it to Tosh Point oh because he like a web that, redemption, yeah. a web redemption. That is true. So. That is true. Uh, so that's anyway, what happened, eh? someone from the USC saw it. Yeah. And uh, decided that we were hazing our members. Oof. So then it got, we all got involved, like, well, the, like, the exact team got involved with the campus police because there was an investigation. Goodness. And then the campus police. You guys police, just got cro crossed in the crossfire. Yeah, basically. And then the campus police, de Man. like, determined, they called down the guy that actually participated. Yeah, yeah. And they called him down, and he was like, no, I actually did it on my own. And then they were like, okay, well, I guess it's not hazing. It's just really weird. Right? Just bad decisions all around. Good but God. you guys were still shut down. Yeah, so I mean, that was kind of one of the really frustrating things for us is the fact that 
even though it got brought up with campus police and campus yeah. police said no like this is like a non-issue we see this kind of stuff all yeah. the time like it's yeah. you can tell within the first sort of 10 seconds of the video that it wasn't hazing but yeah. it kind of seemed as though the USC had already made the decision and in that like we appealed and then didn't hear anything back so it was kind of Kind of, it's a pretty frustrating process. That is right super today. frustrating. So there really was, was there any transparency in that? Did you have any, were you asked to come talk to the USC yourselves or was this decision just made? No, so I mean, and this was, I, again, and it's nobody's fault at the USC is the, is the one thing that I would say. It's just kind of the way that everything is laid out and the structure that, uh, that they use. But so we only actually found out that we'd been de-ratified when we went to run our next event and our accounts were frozen. Oh, wow. So nobody even really emailed us to tell us that, like, hey, just wanted to let you guys know yeah. you're no longer a club or, or anything like that. Um, and then we went through the appeal process, um, but that just gets sent to the club's governance committee, which is an anonymous body, yeah. uh, which again is frustrating because nobody takes accountability because nobody knows who's on it. Um, so in that, we kind of didn't hear back from them, finally sent back, and then we went through like a couple of appeals. Um, but the time they actually said, okay, no, that's it, there's no more appeals left, we're done, it was sort of May in, uh, at the end of last year. And the application deadline to apply to be either through Campus Rec or yeah. to apply as a new club for the USC is back in January. So in that, like, just because of the way that it all got laid out, we... You guys got screwed. Yeah, we, we didn't really have... Screwed. Well, man, that's the man for you, you know? But a couple that's more plugs for you guys, Lou, because I know you guys are throwing down tonight with my boy Robbie Ford. He's yeah. plastered everywhere. Um, you know what, check out Hideaway tonight. I'm not sure if Robert's gonna be there, but I know he likes the party. And I hope to see you guys there tonight. Yeah, we'll um, be there, we'll be there. I hope so. Everyone, if you're a part of the club, uh, you get free cover before, well, you get free cover when you wear your tank. Yeah. Uh, we've got a drink special, $5 tall boys for, of PBR. And hopefully Rob Ford will be there. Hopefully he'll make an appearance. We also have a ton of prizes, so Anyways, boys, be sure to check it out. It was great to have you on the show. Um, uh, <laughs> I hope to see you tonight. Thanks a lot for having us. Yeah, no no problem. problem. Thanks, Early. See you, boys.